Hello and welcome to this service of Thanksgiving. We offer it as a gift to you and your dear ones at this time of national holiday, when we gather with those who are important to us and take time to reflect on the simple gifts of this life. May the grace and peace of Christ be with you. May we listen to your voice in the voices here tonight. Give us ears to hear. May we see one another so that we can truly love each other. Give us eyes to see. May we savor the food before us and our time together. O oh, taste and see. Amen. Amen. A reading from the first letter to Timothy. Do not fear, O soil, be glad and rejoice, for the Lord has done great things. Do not fear, you animals of the field, for the pastures of the wilderness are green. The tree bears its fruit, the fig tree and vine give their full yield. O children of Zion, be glad and rejoice in the Lord your God, for he has given the early rain for your vindication. He has poured down for you abundant rain, the early and the later rain as before. The threshing floors shall be full of grain. The vats shall overflow with wine and oil. I will repay you for the years that the swarming locust has eaten, the hopper, the destroyer, and the cutter, my great army which I sent against you. You shall eat in plenty and be satisfied, and praise the name of the Lord your God, who has dealt wondrously with you, and my people shall never again be put to shame. You shall know that I am the midst of Israel, and that I, the Lord, and your God, and there is no other, and my people shall never again be put to shame. Word of God, word of life. Thanks be to God. Hello, St. John's community. This Thanksgiving Eve sermon is coming to you from in front of a work of art that my wife's friend painted for us. It's of a family table that hangs near our kitchen table. 
Thanksgiving is unique. Unique in the church in that it's not a church festival, nor did it even originate in the church. Because, of course, it's a national holiday. It's a reason to get together with friends and family and remember the blessings we have, the many good things in our lives that we can be thankful for. It's uniquely American. It's turkey and mashed potatoes and apple pie. And eating just a little more than you should and hopefully laughing a little too much as well. In a national sense, we remember idyllic images of natives and European settlers coming together over food. But for those of us digging deeper into our history, we know this to be just one angle of the story. There's also great pain in our national history and treatment of indigenous peoples that we need to balance out the true story with. And so it is too with each of us and our lives. In each of us is the great potential for good and evil. And in reality, we're quite a mixed bag, us humans. We are simultaneously saints and sinners. And perhaps one of our great sins over the past year, which has been full of struggles unique to us as our own unique tables, is perhaps our common sin of not calling to mind all the things we truly do have to be thankful for. We can be grateful for our closest family and friends who gather with us at our Thanksgiving tables. We can be grateful for the millions of kindnesses shown one another in hospitals, grocery stores, often through masks and other inconveniences we've suffered. We can be thankful for churches struggling to meet the changing times and keeping worship going even when just virtual. We can be thankful for a nation whose highest values of freedom for all and equality for all is a vision we still long to live into and catch glimpses of from time to time. We can be thankful for even simpler things like this very next breath especially in a year where some of us have witnessed loved ones taking their last breaths. We can be thankful for a God who's got us even through this. We can be thankful for the gift of faith granted us through the Holy Spirit, breathed into the church, which will continue to go through some more changes in the future for sure but will always be guided by the same dynamic, unbound Spirit of God through the ages. So I invite you to say a prayer of thanks this day at your table. Maybe it's a table for one. Maybe you've got a large table for 21 or more. But thank Jesus for something. And then thank Jesus for something else. And then one more thing after that. Because God is good and so is your life full of God's grace and mercy. May you have a quiet and peaceable holiday and happy Thanksgiving. Amen. Giving God, whose generosity is limitless, hear us as we pray for the needs of your church, your world, and every one of your children in need. God of justice, you listen and hear all voices. Encourage us to hear each other in ministries, in our work, in our neighborhoods, in our families. Where there are differences, make us slow to argue and patient in understanding. God, in your mercy, Hear our prayer. Nurturing God, you intend your resources for all your creatures. Please sustain our water, our forests, our farming. Make us thankful and careful in using what you have given us and generous in sharing what we have. God, in your mercy, hear our prayer. God of wisdom, more than ever, we need wise leaders in this time of anxiety and division. Please guide President Biden, Governor Newsom, our local leaders, and all who represent us. 
Give them hearts and minds to choose well for our common good. God, in your mercy, hear our prayer. God of community, thank you for the people you have placed in our lives. Be with our biological families, our chosen families, our church family in this Thanksgiving holiday. Wrap your love around all those who are lonely, separated by location, circumstance, or grief from those they love. We trust that you are there for all who suffer in mind, body, or spirit, and we lift up to you today especially Matthew, Wolfgang, Margie, Don, Eileen, Stephanie, Tony, Mary Ann, Vicki, Ginny, Lena, John and Suzanne, Lori, Audrey, Judy, Margie, Valentina, all our Stephen ministers and those receiving their spiritual companionship, those we each pray for individually. God, in your mercy, hear our prayer. God, our greatest thanksgiving is for you and your endless welcome. We are confident that you hear these and all the prayers of our heart. In your Son, Jesus' name, amen. Generous God, for the abundance of your blessings to us, day by day and year by year, we give you our thanks. For the simple pleasures of life, for garden harvests, coffee conversation, and familiar surroundings, for health and strength to appreciate the wonder of life, for needs met and desires fulfilled, we give you our thanks. For food distributed to nourish body and spirit, for homes which supply shelter, which nurture order and beauty, and offer hospitality, we give you our thanks. With hearts that forgive as freely as you have forgiven, with enthusiasm of spirit for the gift of life, with music which declares your everlasting goodness, with prayers for mutual understanding and peace, we worship you with joy. With creative pursuits which contribute our God-giving talents, with words which honor you as creator, redeemer, and Holy Spirit, with time volunteered and dedicated to service in church and community, with years committed to extending the love of Jesus Christ, we worship you with joy. With gifts of money which reach farther than we can manage ourselves, with deeds done in service of neighbor and stranger, with holy days set apart to celebrate your goodness and grace, with family and friends, distant and nearby. We worship you, God, with grateful hearts and joyful spirits. Alleluia. Amen. United by the Holy Spirit, we pray the prayer that Jesus taught his disciples. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. And now may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord's face shine on you with grace and mercy. May the Lord look upon you with favor and give you peace. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And now as you gather around your tables, sharing a meal and gratitudes for all that God has given, we offer these words of gratitude from our community to yours. I am most grateful for the friends and families that I have made um, over my course working here. You know, the family isn't always the family that you're born with, but the family that you create or that you find yourself in. Uh, and so this really is my family here. Uh, and so I'm very, very grateful for the opportunity to be here, to work here, and to be a part of it all. 
I'm thankful for my family. I'm thankful for food. I'm thankful for all entertainment, such as sports and music. I'm thankful for my shelter and my home. I'm thankful for these masks that keep us protected from the COVID-19 virus. I'm thankful for the vaccine, which I got yesterday. And what I'm thankful for is my family and friends. Happy Thanksgiving. This year for Thanksgiving, I am grateful for the opportunity to reconnect with friends and loved ones again. My, my table prayers, thank you for the world so sweet. Thank you for the food we eat. Thank you for the birds that sing. And thank you, God, for everything. Amen. <laughs>